Yes, sir. Why is the one upside down? Oh, I don't know. Somebody touched him. You see a turtle upside down. This man sees a turtle upside down. Well, sir, you must be living in the winery. Come on, Steven. Back to the alehouse, Steven. Okay, now everybody be seated. And we're going to start very soon. I'd like to request that you fix dead center in your mind. Nothing significant will happen here. <laughs> Trust me on that. This could take anywhere from 10 minutes to two days. It, it is absolutely free to play, and if you win, you will receive nothing. It is a dumb show, and I want you to understand that. Once we do, we'll proceed. Now, the way in which the race is run, in moments, the turtles will be placed behind the central barricade. When it is ready, they will explode from the gate. <laughs> First turtle crashing into the wall will be declared the winner under the rules of the World Turtle Racing Federation. Now listen, within a few minutes, there'll be more people coming over here to see what the hoo-ha is about. And they won't look at me, and they won't look at the turtle. They will look at you, because by then you will have this glazed expression over your eyes. Look at, they're gonna think you're crazy for watching this. I want you to look back at them. They're gonna think you're nuts. I want you to look back at them as if you're sane, all right? That's all I ask. That will throw them off the track. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the field for the track introduction. Momentarily. I just want to repeat, if any of you people are expecting anything rational to occur here, disabuse yourself of that notion immediately. This is the kind of thing that gets into your head, and this is what you do if you have absolutely no talent. <laughs> this encourages a lot of people to come and watch the show, too. All right. We're going to go to the field for the track introductions at this time. Emerging from the steroid solution is number one from Tijuana in New Spain, the Tijuana Tornado, El Nino. Hey, all right. Of near fatal rotator cuff surgery. <laughs> After a year in traction at the Hospice for Turtle Sports Trauma in Middlesex, I love that place. <laughs> That's between over and under. <laughs> and if you don't get it, you probably just don't get it. This is 1569's Comeback Reptile of the Year. A warm welcome, please, El Nino. All right. Be the first professional racing turtle to escape from the Tsar's Russia, Ivan the Cherubin, <laughs> who swam nearly 3,000 miles underwater to freedom and was codenamed Red Ock Turtle. <laughs> And now get out your handkerchief, because when I introduce the next turtle, there will not be a dry eye in the house. This is going to be the most dramatic moment of your entire day. The littlest turtle of all. By the way, forgive me while I'm setting this up. We are very closely scheduled here, so I have to do all this at the same time as performed. Anyway, number three, the littlest turtle of all turtle who has no chance to win. <laughs> the turtle who has not even as yet earned his professional racing number. <laughs> a turtle with a dream! <laughs> Engelbert Lump! <laughs> Apprentice turtle! Engelbert Lump! Who need win but one professional race to be elevated to the exalted level a professional racing turtle. Something every young turtle coming up dreams about. He's got no chance. He's up against green machines like them. <laughs> and yet Engelbert is here to run. A little turtle 
with big stars in his eye, in his eye, <laughs> and no chance at all. And ain't that just the kind of stark personal drama that makes modern turtle racing what it is? I know a lot of you are wondering, what is it? <laughs> but if you've been watching this for any length of time, your development's been arrested by now anyway. <laughs> so if you never applauded a turtle in your lives, now's the time to do it. I want to hear it for him. Engelbert Lump, Apprentice Turtle. All right. Now I'm going to ask you people who are standing up to please be seated for safety reasons. <laughs> now, if you can't be seated, I'm going to have to ask you to leave because these are pit turtles, and if they get loose, you can go over like duck pins. <laughs> now, honey, if you want to get closer, come on up and get closer, but don't be standing up there because you could be knocked into the next county. These turtles. <laughs> tough, too. Now, I've got one final turtle to introduce. A turtle for whom I have no respect. Who has no sense of morality, no sense of professionalism. Turtle was just in it for the groupies. <laughs> he is the Dennis Rodman of racing turtles, and you can boo him if you want. He is number six, Rob Slow. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you got that, didn't you? <laughs> All right, you now have the opportunity to play a turtle. So by the sound of your voice, by your applause, how many people here think that number one, first turtle to break the four-minute foot, <laughs> El Nino will win this race. El Nino! <laughs> what do you say, Rebecca? You, you think so? Okay, Rebecca, think so. <laughs> number three. A turtle would swim so many thousands of miles from tyranny to freedom. He's too tired. Because he kept missing England and going around. <laughs> really stupid. Number three, Ivan the Terry Pin. Yay! Can you hear me all right back there? <laughs> and now, trembling on the brink of his destiny. Turtle until recently, we just kept around for parts. Thank you, Bert Lum, apprentice turtle. All right. And rounding out the field, the no good Rob Slow. Ooh. Ooh. All right. <laughs> that lady just sat down and she's expecting a juggler, right? <laughs> to hear the official turtle fight song sung a cappella by moi and I am met with a wall of apathy. Well, if you don't want to hear the words to the official turtle fight song, don't mind my fears, I really don't care. If you don't want to hear it, that shit, you could be the first group not to hear the official turtle fight song. I don't Hey! To that unsolicited groundswell of public sentiment, I will reconsider. <laughs> We're going to do this democratic. Everybody who wants to hear the official journal fight song indicate that we're around the floor. It's not Anybody who don't want to hear it indicate that by going.
going like this sounds unanimous. All right, then, this is it. <laughs> the official turtle fight song. Now, this will be a community sing. Everybody on this side of the aisle, you will be the concussion section. Concussion. <laughs> Everybody on that side, you will be the melody section. Very important. And when I get to you, I want you to do it from the diagram. All right. <laughs> Everybody in melody, in the concussion, I'm sorry, this is what you must do. You must go, aha. Got it? Now be bad. Be bad. Here we go on three. One, two, three. Uh -huh. Be bad. Be bad. Now you people here in melody, <laughs> I want warm, mellow, beautiful, warm tone. I want it from the diagram to an open throat. So we need every person here. No bird watchers at this time. <laughs> I want everybody erect. <laughs> now follow me. Here we go. Oh. oh. I can't hear you. Good. So whenever these people go, you go. I love you. <laughs> All right, this is it. The official turtle fight song. This is it. You're going to love this. You're going to want to buy the album. It's Turtle Racing, <laughs> the musical. One, two, three, four. Turtle Racing is more than a game, two, three. It's the big time, and the bright face is a young turtle from an head of faces. Verse two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, nobody's singing over here. <laughs> From here on out, I want a copy of this. This is a copy. Really, I'm serious. See what you have to right. Now, from here on out, it's serious business. I will need the assistance of a full grown man who is not afraid to throw his butt in front of a charging reptile. I want a man who's a hero, a rock, a tiger. An animal! Pickens are pretty slim here! <laughs> All right, thank you for volunteering, sir. Can I ask you to remove your jacket, your glasses, and your, and your cap? This is very, very physical. <laughs> and also your trousers. All right, can you get by without your glasses? You can't, so all the better, sir. Take them off. <laughs>